So, this is me, about to be poor. I'm Josh, and I'm walking into a camera store to spend a chunky amount of cash on a Sony ZV-E1. This is my first ever YouTube video, and our channel that I'm starting with my family is going to be about a bit of a vlog with some reviews of all sorts of equipment, camera gear, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be adventures, it's gonna be aviation, cooking, perhaps holidays, and more. This video though is going to be a candid unboxing as I've never opened the box before, you'll see it live with me, and a discussion of the specs of the video and the pros and the cons of the uh, Sony EV-Z1 as I have researched them. I have uh, also researched the Sony FX3, but settled on the EVZ1. Hey guys, so we're back from the shop. We ended up with the Sony ZV E1 and a little something else um, the Sony FE24 F1.4 GM. And I'll quickly run you through while I'm unboxing the, uh, the ideas behind both of these and what we're going to do with them. So, first things first, the uh, la pièce de résistance, as they say in France, the ZV-E1. So, while we were looking, beautiful little content creators, free membership. While we were looking at uh, camera choices, there was the um, FX3, was what I was actually looking at to start with. Um, all the specs of the FX3 are amazing. They're very similar to Sony's Pro line of camera, the FX6 and the FX9, but they're obviously ridiculously expensive and too big for YouTube and vlogging. But the FX3 is a great size. While looking at the FX3, I came across this little gem, which has most of the features of the FX3, exactly the same sensor, but half the price here in Australia. So the usual, uh, strap and here she is I'm going to make this look so awkward on video <laughs> so this is a full frame sensor not a crop sensor which means that you get a much higher and better resolution and more image quality compared to a crop sensor the um, sensor in this is also a much, oh, that's beautiful. Sorry, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the experience at the same time as trying to talk. Um, you also end up with a much cleaner, crisper, higher bitrate quality image through this sensor than you, because it's made for video, than you do through a camera sensor that is made for taking photos. That's the point of this camera versus, um, because we're filming on the a7R2 right now, and the a7R2 does take nice 4K. It is a full frame sensor, but that sensor is adapted for camera and photos, not so much video, and only takes 8-bit video, and obviously the battery. So, oh, some more goodies in here. Alrighty, what have we got here? Ah, that's a nice little touch. This is one I didn't know I was getting. Um, I'm one of those people who probably like you, watches a million things on YouTube and likes to know exactly what they're gonna get, which is why you're, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. This is not your normal YouTube channel, guys. This is not going to be a normal YouTube channel. So, they give you a little fluffy. Oh, that's awesome. Little fluffy that goes in your hot shoe that covers your top mic here. So, there you go. That one I didn't know was coming. I obviously didn't watch enough. That's all that's in that box there. Now, on to the uh, next bit, which I didn't tell you about on the way to the shop, but I knew I was gonna get, which is, and I'll probably do a sort of a, <laughs> I'll probably, I'm sorry, my wife has got the face. <laughs> I wish I had a fat camera pointing back this way. So this one here is a 24 mil F1.4, and it's the G Master series. This, for people who um, are into photography, lets in 
not two times, but two doubled because it is four times from an f2.8 lens. So we've got the f2.8, 2470 f2.8 on the a7R2, which is what we're filming from. This lets in double the light and double the light again. So four times the light um, for the same 24 mil. Alrighty, here goes. I love doing this. <laughs> and being their G Master lenses, they are the beautiful, clear, crisp picture image quality that you're used to from Sony. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, in the box, there's the instructions. I'm not gonna go through those. They're there, onto the back. Comes in a nice little case, which probably won't get used much because I end up putting it in my main camera bag. But it's a nice touch still. Okay. Now the features of this are amazing for anyone else doing video. Like I said, I'll probably do a bit more of an in-depth feature review of this later. But, okay. Pop him over there. The main thing that is amazing about this lens for video is it has an external aperture ring. So as you are videoing on the fly and you need to change your light settings, um, you either need to stop down to um, stop, um, if you go out in the sunlight, you'll need to stop down to let less light in if you've run out on your ND, or you'll need to open up to f1.4 if you need to let more light in and your ND is already wide open. This has a feature with clicks or no clicks on the side here. You switch to no clicks and all of a sudden the click, click, click feel that you get when you are filming, uh, when you are moving the aperture ring is gone. So you get a beautiful, nice, clean, smooth transition between a little bit lighter image or to a little bit darker or a little bit darker image to a little bit lighter. Um, so you get that without any um, of that harsh when you move the settings, when you move your ISO settings in camera, you get the harsh jump, jump, jump between the light settings. Or if you move the aperture settings in camera, you'll also get the jump, jump, jump. This removes that. And like I said, it also lets in four times the amount of light of the F2.8. And the F2.8 Grand Master is already a, a beefy lens. So, alrighty, let's do the, uh, the bit that puts a smile on my face and put the camera together. Here we go. Oh, that click. And we'll insert the battery. So there's a couple of things about the ZV that um, are lacking in inverted commas compared to the FX3. And depending on your application as to what you would like to do with it, may or may not suit your needs. For someone like me who is taking video for my own personal vlog um, for my own um, enjoyment and also to upload fun YouTube videos. Um, the ZV meets all of your needs. There are people who are recording for you know half an hour plus when you look at the reviews and the, the ZV can overheat, but I'm not doing any wedding videos. Um, so my camera won't be sitting on a tripod just recording for no end. We'll be taking you know 30 seconds here, five minutes there and that's about it. Um, this camera is also set up the same as the FX3 where you can, you know, hold the camera and I don't know if that's in the shot, hold the camera and vlog. Um, it has a, this lens has quite a close focal length, uh, focal focus distance so you can hold it relatively close and being 24 mil but full frame, i.e. you get a wider picture, you can still have yourself in the image quite nicely without too much distortion. Um, you get to see yourself as you're filming in the little screen here. And the difference is, is that the 2470, for those who are familiar with it, sticks out about this long. She's about this round and weighs an absolute ton compared to this setup. So for my wife and I, who are going to be the main people who use this, as well as the kids, um, this is gonna be a neat, clean little setup, which is going to be amazing in low light, produce beautiful color depth, color fidelity. Um, and be a pleasure to work with. So, we're gonna do the first test on this baby. I've got a card, 
hopefully it's fast enough for uh, this camera. We'll see how we go. This is a trial. You're going to try it along with me. So one of the things that people, um, speaking of cards, bring up on the line is that there's only one card slot. Um, and, you know, for a professional video um, camera, that's, that might be an issue to you. But in all my time, you know, back when the day the A7R2 only had one, ass, uh, one card slot. And um, in all my time, I've never lost footage to a card, modern cards that seem to be a lot better than the old cards. The uh, screen, I find really nice that when you put it away, you put it away in a manner where the screen doesn't get scratched. And then when you want to use it, out comes the screen. And then for vlogging, you then gently, because it's the first time I'm trying to work out which way to twist, turn it around so you can see it. We'll turn it on. The buttons are very, I'm used to Sony cameras, obviously. Um, I've had the A7R2, the A7 three and the a7r3 um, and the buttons are very similar the menus are very similar so it's not an unfamiliar camera to me i must admit um, it might be um, a whole new learning curve for someone who's not uh, is new to the sony environment but that goes for any sony camera i guess um, so we're going to give it a quick go and you'll see what some of the footage is like uh, straight out of the camera um, i'll put that into the thing so here we go hey guys this is testing out the footage. Um, this is the Sony G Master. Now with the uh, Sony ZV, it's quite uh, light compared to the A7. Um, quite easy to hold out. It, I can see that it focuses on my eye on the screen here. You can't see that, but it's, it's locked on. I can move my head around. It's got me. It's, a, it's actually very cool. So, All right. Um, as time goes on and I get more and more used to this, You'll probably see a couple of more reviews, um, things I do like, things I don't like, um, and how it fits my usage of it. What you're also hearing, guys, is the onboard mic. Um, I'm not using, I've, while I've still got my um, DJI um, mic on, that's still attached to my A7R2. What you're hearing is the onboard mic, so I wanted to give that a test. I wanted to put that into the video so that I and you get to see what that sounds like. Um, whether I use that very often or not will depend on, I guess, how this test goes. So, I can't wait to uh, show to you more of what I can do with this or what we can do with this and more of our adventures. We've got plenty more cool stuff coming up. Tomorrow, um, I'm just gonna say it, I have a shipping container with an aeroplane showing up on my front yard, which you'll see in a couple of days time. So that's gonna be one of the first things you see, as long as other adventures and things um, there's, this channel is going to include lots of different things from um, cooking to holidays to it's going to be more of a vlog of what us and our family do. It's going to have some reviews of gear, um, some in depth, some, you know, this is how we use it kind of reviews. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to spend more time with you. Have a great one. Hi, I'm Leila. My dad forgot to say it, so I get to see the best bit. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to follow all our adventures. Bye! That's good. <laughs>